because I would say there are a lot of similarities to them both. In a sense, it's just I feel Megan did it better, but when we review those movies, we'll discuss that and all that fun stuff. But uh, mm-hmm. we're live. We're here, and we are reviewing by the awesome Dadpool's request. The movie's sick. First time watch. Yeah. First time watch for the both of us. And I believe I showed this off the other night when I was gaming, but I am going to show this off now. And a huge shout out and a special thank you to Dadpool for this. If you guys watch the um, the live from Saturday night, technically Sunday morning, I should tell you, it was after midnight. And we reviewed myself, my guy Matt, which go check out his YouTube channel, You and Your Horror Movies. Again, that is You and Your Horror Movies. He does some dope shit. But anyway, I was like, hey, peeps, I'm looking for a stamp. Can someone make me a stamp? And not even an hour later, I get an email, and this is what's there. So huge, huge shout out to Dadpool. Let me just move this for one second so you guys can see it. Huge shout out to Dadpool. Greatly appreciate this, man. Thank you so much. Greatly, greatly. Yeah, yeah, this is awesome. awesome. This is awesome. And <laughs> God, definitely got to get you on the show. Definitely got to get you on the show. But uh, before we dive into things, James, what's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, man. Long weekend. You no, know, first day back to work. Yes, That's always man. sucks. Well, how are you doing? I'm good, man. Same long weekend. Busy, but not bad. Got some things done, which is always good. But, yeah, now we're back here. On Tuesday, reviewing the movie Sick. Sick. First time watch for me. This might be the first time. Wait a minute. Did we review anything uh, from a Peacock original? This might be the I first. I think so. I think this is the first one. Yeah, okay. I think this is the first one. So basically every stream is going to have the uh, original, and they're going to come out their own horror movies and all that shit. I'm not mad at it. So as a matter of fact, cool. I want more of that. I want them to do yeah. that. And speaking mm-hmm. of. Eh, nah, you guys. Well, no, nah, I'm gonna let that cat out the bag. We'll, we'll just, we'll just, you'll see, you'll see. <coughs> so, early ratings. All right. <coughs> um. Hold up. We're gonna give it a, a seven. Ooh. I'm actually right there with you with a seven. Yeah, this wasn't this wasn't bad. It was actually it was a good movie. It was a good you movie. Know, it, I did not know what was going on in the beginning because it did have no backstory of the killer. Nothing. He just kills that one guy. He falls on. I was like, oh, it's going to be a stalk, stalk, uh, stalker serial killer type movie. Then they're doing the COVID shit, and I'm like, huh, COVID? I'm like, okay, that's cool. They made it during, you know. COVID, yep. They made a movie around COVID. Go to a cabin. And the fucking... So, on my horror book, when I write down what I watch, you know, that log book I got? Yeah. And they have a whole bunch of sections with little boxes that says what type of movie this is. Like, um, demon, possession, comedy, horror comedy. Mm-hmm. A whole bunch of them, right? This is the first time I had one that covered four boxes at the same time. Oh, shit. It's a slasher. Yep. It had gore, a little bit, not much, but I'll count it. Yeah. It's a home invasion yes. and a virus and a disease movie. Because right. of COVID. It was taking place during Holy COVID. Holy shit, you're right. And you don't even think about that until... Yeah. I went there and I filled the I thing mean, out. I was like, what the fuck? Check, <laughs> check. If, not paranormal, of course, but if there's the fucking check mark for mind fuck... Actually, there is psychological. There is. Boom. It's that as well because with the whole, just with everything going on, that's a crazy ass scary situation. That's a mind fuck. You don't know. I saw that could could have actually happened. You don't know. Exactly. And that's what I was getting at. You don't know. You don't know what's going on. You don't know who's trying to kill you. You don't know how many people are there. Shit. When the lady, when she got in the lady's car, like, you didn't know that that lady, you thought it was just an innocent lady until. When she kept really insisting about the mask 
Yeah, it'll oh, throw you off, right? Because she was like, "There's no way." If you soon someone says he's trying to kill me, yeah, you don't. You have jump in and you take off. I could. I mean, I could honestly see somebody being a little pushy with the mask at first. But I feel like she was going a little far with it. I'm like, yeah, this. Yeah, and then she sat in the off. car, and I'm like, and she's not taking off right away. Like that's no, that's that's yeah. No. There's I was like this is probably. She's here. She's like here. Where this mask had chloroform in it. <laughs> Yep. But anyways, that's towards the end. But the movie is about COVID. It's during COVID. Uh, the states are doing um, quarantine lockdown. lockdown. <laughs> so uh, uh, I guess they're in college. I, I, I want to say college. Yeah. Uh, a, a, two college girls that are friends go to the one college girl's father's cabin thing. And then a, the ex, the boyfriend she was messing with, and but not actually together sleeping mm-hmm. with and like he comes and shows up so he they let him stay there then it turns into a home invasion after the beginning the first begin the begin the first thing we've seen in this movie was a kill it was this dude in the uh, store you don't know why he was hunted down at the time yep that's why i thought it was just gonna be a serial killer i was like oh shit okay so stalker got his phone number somehow and all that shit that's weird but then oh, now oh, yeah. that makes so much you know yeah. what <laughs> because uh, so remember much- the, the killers, the father, the killer, the father killer. He yeah, said that, he his, said that um, his youngest son is the one that died. Yeah, his youngest son the one that was at that party. Which was yeah, the so they're taking revenge. So yeah. of course, that makes that just connected with me now, which makes this movie maybe a seven point half, maybe a seven and a half, maybe even an eight. So seven basically, and a half, yeah. maybe an eight. but so they I'm, they started it off with a mystery, like okay, that's what, you think it's a random kill. But it's a part of the fucking movie, part of yes. the show. Yes, it's it is it is it's 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 connect like all these kills are connected. They're for a reason. It's those kids that are at that party. Yep. <laughs> and they, they had a COVID party hashtag. Uh, COVID hashtag. COVID. A bunch of shit. That, yeah, shit. like like that shit really happened. And again, During social COVID. media. We are talking about the movie sick. We're not talking about real life. Yeah, that's not real life. They're they're just portraying and yeah. pulling stuff from real life. Yeah, we're, we're talking about because there was people having there was a person people I know around the corner from me had a Halloween party during lockdown. Oh, of course, there's plenty of people. So so I get where now it's coming together. So she's in the party. She has COVID. She's getting everybody. That's why the family wants revenge because the son called it because he was at that party. She didn't kiss him, but she infected everybody else. Well, no, she did make out with her one son. What's up? Well, uh, no, one dude, dad, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's what she did. Yeah. Uh, this episode is shout out to you, man. Thank you for the um, request. Yeah. Thank you for this amazing stamp. And thank you for all the support. Hope you feel better, man. <coughs> Hope you feel better, man. Mm. And I'm glad you tuned in. You're always tuned in, which is dope. You yeah. even tuned in before the show started, which is dope. Very appreciated. Hell yeah. Um, but uh, what I was getting at, what the hell was I saying now? Shit. About the psychological. What did I say? Oh, I forgot. I I know. Um, fuck, what was it called? God damn it, I forgot what it was called. Yeah, we move on. <laughs> <laughs> I just blanked out too. It sucks. And I had a good oh. point for whatever the hell we were talking oh, about. Oh, that's why I care. I got it back. So I knew there was more than one killer. I didn't know there was three. I yeah. knew there was more than one killer because all these types of movies, it had like uh like that during that part, it had like a screen feeling. Okay. So you're like, how was he there and there at the same time type shit? So you it's know three. it's two. Yep. It's two yep. people. The first kill, it was two people. Um, we found out that the the, the wife was involved mm-hmm. later on because the, the son and the father was the ones going around doing most of the work. She usually didn't have to do anything. That was just a family but affair of murder. It was a family affair. That's crazy. So it was revenge. They were heartbroken. Their son died because of COVID because they blaming this girl because she posted on thing and she was the one kissing him. Yeah, gave him COVID. 
So the whole family, some reason the whole family decided this. What's the chances of your whole family agreeing and saying, yeah, we should go start murdering people? Uh, the son, the father, and the mother is like, we're taking revenge on your brother. We're you know going to hunt it, everybody it, it, down it, 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 in that party. Man, you got to remember those times. You're locked in. You're stressed. You're frustrated. Money's tight. Because you got to remember, too. Not no every paper. That too, but no, I was gonna say not everybody was as lucky. Like, say, well, us state workers, we still got paid even though we were just at home. Yeah, like, not everybody got that. Like, there's some people that were just like, "Listen, you heard what they said. You guys got to go home, and uh, we can't pay you. So you got to figure something out, unemployment, if anything." And then, you know, but yeah, uh, but is, but, I, but I feel like, I do feel like somebody would be like, you know what? That's it's, I know how sad and mad and upset you are, but that's that's a little crazy, like. Yeah, that's crazy. In time, because because at because you have to look at you have to look at both sides. Like at the same, like you're blaming her for being there, and she had it, but it didn't affect her. Yeah, she has a sip sip in that. uh, Yeah, we're not gonna pretend like we know the terms. I don't know the terms. Not today, at least. But um, like everybody's responsible because everybody was everybody that was there is responsible. Whoever went to the fucking party didn't listen to the including him. Yep. Including him, including the, the kid that you know, but I'm like, damn, that was crazy. That was crazy. So I, I wish they showed uh, them killing more of the people at the party. Mm. Instead of just the one kid in the beginning, then follow them to the cabin, and this is where the whole movie takes place. Now it's at that cabin. Yeah, I think it would have been better if they they killed off a few more kids that were at that party or something. Like we see more, then you'll realize, like, oh damn, they went and killed. Everyone at that party. They found out who was at that I would, party. You know what? I wouldn't have been mad at that. I wouldn't have been mad at that at all. Or at least everybody that was in that little video at that party. Yeah, the one little clip. Yeah. Then again, didn't, didn't they go after him? I don't remember. Now he, all he, there was more. No, because the uh, that one girl that went to the cabin with her wasn't there. That's she right. wasn't in the video. Nothing to do with it. And the boyfriend wasn't in it because she broke up with him, or they had a fight, and she was making out with the another dude. Well, they had. I the guess they, had, they weren't ever officially. Had some yeah, exactly. That's what she said. Yeah, but he wanted more. Yeah, but she didn't want to commit. She was afraid of having people close to her. You know that normal. Speaking of, I want more, and I want to be where the people are. are you going to see the Little Mermaid this weekend? No, uh, I do not like Disney live action movies, and I understand people are saying it's good. Yada yada yada. Well, I'll, I'll tell you, what, I don't like it. I'll tell you how good it is because I think me and the wife are going to see that, and um, what's the other movie that's coming out this weekend? The Boogeyman. Well, the Little Mermaid. Goes they, I want to see the Boogeyman. Unless mm-hmm. my wife begs me and she wants to see the live action for some reason, she didn't mention it yet, and she knows it's out. But if she want wanted to do it, especially this week, if she takes advantage because it's Thursday's our anniversary. Oh, I should four go, years. I should message her and say James is talking about. <laughs> Taking you to see, uh, you know, yeah, he just wants you to bring up Little Mermaid for your guys' anniversary. <laughs> now, if it was a Little Mermaid horror movie, I would go watch it. Horror, oh, hell yeah! Oh my god, why we need that? We need that. I know there was something that had like a mermaid in it, but we need like a full underwater oh. Little Mermaid horror movie. Yeah, they're dope, they're even, starting to roll them out, man. Bambi's gonna be coming. Shit, even if she went to land, like, say the transformation's painful and crazy. And that's what makes her turn into a murderous thing, and then she goes back to the sea. Maybe mm-hmm. she gets her tail back. After she they're, going, they're doing a Cinderella horror movie that's going to be coming. I can't wait. I can't Peter wait. Pan. Oh, hurry up! Bring them out. Bring I know. Them. Bring them. We need to too. There's going to be more of those. The first one wasn't great. Right, my child. It's going to help mine. Let's let's turn, let's change my childhood to for the better. Yeah, like I wish this came out <laughs> when we were kids. You know how excited exactly. we were going to see this I shit. Know. As kids, because we were, and the reason why I say it is because we were already into horror movies. A lot of kids yeah. around our age, growing up, were already into horror movies, and into like the adult ones, not the, not the, um, yeah, yeah. We plan on going there in August. Um, yeah, she tag. I think she tagged me in a post or something for that. But yeah, we do plan on going there. Hopefully for the weekend. Where's it? Where's this one at? in Connecticut? Not near Syracuse. Oh, the the one near Syracuse. Okay. Yep, yep. You guys should go one day. You and the wife. Maybe. 
I was buying you one closer. Nice. Oh, Dad, nice. Okay. Definitely going to have to get a picture together. Maybe even do a TikTok or something, too. That'll be awesome. But, yeah, I'm trying to be there. My friend Matt's going to be there. I don't know if you know him or not. And his wife, Tanya. That's going to be a good time. Trying to get James to go for a day. We'll see. Be his first horror con. He needs to do it. My problem is I don't like people. I don't like crowds. Not people. Well, partially people. But (laughs) I don't like crowds. This is different. This is a horror crowd. This is different. It's a different feel. Trust me. It's the constant noise. Multiple people talking at the same time. My anxiety fucking starts up. Just smoke a little weed. You'll be all right. Now, speaking of COVID for this movie, COVID, Mm -hmm. how do you feel? Does it feel like it was forever ago or do you feel like it was just yesterday? Um, I don't know. Like, because the reason why I say that is because like, I just cough. People don't react to a cough like they they did even a year ago. I'll say, I'll say no, I'll say it doesn't feel that it doesn't feel the same. I, it doesn't feel like it did before COVID, but it doesn't feel the same like during COVID or even like right after it. It feels a little different, maybe a little bit better, but it feels like, like with the whole hat for, for work, for our work field, for example, that just feels like it's the norm now. I wish it was 100% home or optional, but 50 50, I just feel like it's the norm now. And I hope that's the worst we get with that. Just being honest, people, just being honest. Like, I just leave it at 50 50. Don't raise it up to, you know, all that other shit, 60, 40, 70, 30, 100. Like, no, we don't need mm-hmm. Yeah, with me with the COVID, man, it feels like, what was that, three years total? And going now, but three years of like. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Craziness. Like that. It like blended. It felt like it was only one year, not three. Yeah, it felt like one long year. Yeah, that's one cool. long ass year. Yeah. One long, because it was. Because it was, that's yeah. all it was. It was COVID, COVID, COVID on the channel. So it, it felt like it was the same fucking year. I mean, there was a lot of shit going on during that time because we're all at home watching TV, watching the news. So we know yeah. what we're getting into. We're not going to dive into that too much. But this conversation does fit with this movie because this movie is surrounded around COVID. Yeah, it's around and COVID. The news, they, they made it and during COVID. Shit. And all that other shit, which I respect it. Like, it. This movie, you could see that kind of thing happen. You could see a family, maybe not to this extent. Maybe it's just one family member that's doing it. Maybe two. Because like you were saying earlier, one of them might at least be like, you know what? This isn't. But again, it, it also depends on how much tragedy they were dealing with before that. You know what I mean? And then like say, it's, and it couldn't have been them losing children. It could have been them just losing the grandparents. Having a falling out with a, you know what I mean? Just something, just something or something at work, whatever the case may be. And shit just building up and then boom, that's like the fucking, that's the switch that just fucking flicks all their fucking care for humanity off. And they're just like, you know what? We're not taking shit anymore from anybody. This is someone else's fault. This isn't our son's fault. This is everyone else's fault. We're going to handle it the way we need to handle it. And they tried. And, I mean, they took out a lot of people. They took out quite a few people. <coughs> it would have been cooler, like you were saying earlier, if there was more... Um, Corona uh, zombies? Sick is definitely better. I think I watched... Cor- was, it, was it Corona Zombies, like, a movie? Was it the... Oh, what the hell was it? There was, like... Whatever was playing as the movie was, like, a different, different sound and shit because they, like, copied it from another movie. It was something weird like that, right? Like a dub over? I don't know what the hell it was, but it was something. Weird. I never seen it. I believe I watched that a long time ago. I think I watched like a year. I think Dad actually told me to check it out because I, um, oh. if I'm not mistaken, I believe me and Henry talked about it on one of the mm. many, many, many high streams. Of like, you know, I'm always down for a zombie movie, but I never heard of Corona zombies. Yeah, it's 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 something. So they're mixing COVID with zombies, basically. COVID was kind of like zombie. Yeah. You know, it's like zombies when people are doing them damn bath salts down there in Florida. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yo, if that happened during COVID, shit would have went wild. People would really thought it was the fucking zombie apocalypse. That sounds about right, my friend. 
That sounds about right. Full Moon Pictures, which I need to make a... Okay. They got some decent movies on that site. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have my wife put a wheel together for that. Which, cats out the back, meow. Um, I'm always going to put together horror movies, like horror originals from whatever streaming services we have, and pick out... Nice. I don't know. Maybe two. Maybe I'll have her do like two movies from each, just because we have a lot of streaming things. Depending on how many streaming things we have, to where it's not so too too many movies, then we can also go back and do more. Mm-hmm. I'll say maybe one to two movies, maybe two. Yeah, because we have Shutter, Max, uh, Peacock, Peacock, Paramount, Paramount, Hulu, Netflix, Full Moon. Yeah, I have like seven uh, different things. Screen, screen box, shutter. Screen box, shutter. Yeah, one movie. I think one per movie. That's like <laughs> nine, nine, which is crazy. I have nine different streaming services. Yeah, it's fucking. It, it's yeah, ridiculous. No, it's insane. I'm not mad. I, I don't. I don't have as much as you. But I, I got like, like the major if, ones. If, if I had my wish, I would just rather have them in just one that has every single movie that's coming out. This, that, and the third. Combine it somehow, people. Oh, Tubi Originals. There you go. Tubi's, Tubi's another one. one. Tubi's another one. The only uh, thing with Tubi though is we did we did do a Tubi wheel. We didn't. We never finished it. I just got ended up getting rid of the wheel. But <clears throat> the the only downfall with Tubi is how long the movies are on there. Like they don't stay on there as long if we didn't get to the wheel in time for it. Mm-hmm. But maybe do a couple movies from it because we we have a, we have Tubi movies like all over, just like in general. But maybe we could grab a couple movies from it, some originals. Again, if it's one movie per, we should be able to get to it. So yeah, one one movie per should be good. Yep. Two tops. But again, that's like ten different streaming services. That's mm-hmm. twenty movies. So you know what? No, one. One to get those ten knocked off and then bring that wheel back and knock another ten off or something. That's twenty is a big ass wheel. And some that's of those movies, and the only reason why I say that too is because some of those movies may get taken off. By the time we get to them, yeah. So let's make one wheel. Instead of having like ten different wheels, just make one wheel that has ten different movies, one per. And maybe, maybe if they all have the same genre, subgenre. Sorry. So like slasher from Tubi, slasher from you. From, yeah. I'm gonna tell her to do that. I think she'll like that idea. Slasher. Or she can start off with paranormal. That's her favorite. That's fine. But just do it by so it'll be that subgenre. And if we have those subgenres on any other wheel, just well, I'll let her know. So, yes. Back to sick. I can say the girl, the main character, did a really good job of surviving. I would say both of them. No, well, the one, no, she she wasn't hardly in it. She fell out the window, fucked up, broke her leg. Her friend told her to play dead. She didn't have to do as much as the other girl. The other girl had to run around fucking town, basically. True, but I mean, when she got in the house, put her leg back together, she had to kill the one dude that they, that we thought was dead the whole time. There's no okay. Let's get back to let's, let's and and that. and and her pushing the mother out the window, like knocking her out, pushing her out that hit her, cracking her in the back of the head with that bottle, which was awesome, and pushed her out that window because her friend was about to get murked. So so let's but talk about her friend that did dude. a lot. That chick did a like. What I liked about it, real quick, just because I'm on this one and I want to forget it, like I did the last one. Um, I liked how these two, like, they weren't like damsels in distress. They tried to fucking, they, they, it was more realistic. You know what I mean? Like, if, their survival kicked. Yeah, if, like if sur- if yeah. anybody, man, woman, whoever, if they feel like they're in danger, you're gonna do whatever the fuck you have to do. Especially if you feel like your life is in danger to survive. You're mm-hmm. not gonna be, yeah, I'm scared, hide under the bed crying and shit. I might start out that way, but eventually I'm gonna fight. Yep. You know what I mean? So it's I liked how they were just like, fuck, we, we have to fight. We have to not only fight, we have yep. to kill, which is yep. just, oh shit. And the thing is, let's talk about that. That girl was wailing on his head so many yeah. times. There is no fucking way he would have got up. Nah. Even if he survived, he's breathing. No way he's getting up and attacking somebody. He don't even remember where the fuck he's at. Nah. He he, he, he you, if you know, like he did get to her, but he wasn't like as str- obviously he wasn't as strong as he would have been if he didn't get. But that stab she did, where she wasn't even looking back and just caught him, she just, just caught him right in the neck. Yeah, that's dope. That's some dope doctor shit right there, girl. Well, you know what I was kind of hoping for though. You know what they gave this movie an eight, maybe even a nine, eight and a half. 
she pulls that knife out and you get the blood the blood coming out. Ah, uh, yeah. That would have been dope. That would have been dope. Yeah. And I I knew that guy was gonna end up moving because they sh- they showed him so many times. Oh, hundred percent. That's why I said I was like, oh man, this motherfucker. I was because I was telling myself I was like, he's gonna be alive still. There's no way he should be alive. Mm-hmm. How many times he got hit in the head with that thing? You heard his skull crushing. She was hitting him so fucking hard. Yeah, I agree. The special effects were good. Special yeah, were special good. effects were good in this. Yeah, this movie was flat out good. Like it was. Never worked. The acting was good. It was. Um, for a Peacock original, I never heard of this movie until now. I did. I just kept forgetting to watch it. Like and I, it, I and, all, and honestly, I seen the cover. I was like, I gotta see this. This cover looks pretty dope. And now the cover makes sense. That's not a regular like bandana cover. His mouth to hide his face. It's a fucking COVID. It's mask. a COVID mask. I'm, so it all adds up now. Sick. You got the COVID mask, and there's like a fucking uh, cabin. There's a lake type the shit. Blood. Yeah, I, I love it. So it's pretty cool. I love it. Which okay, let's let's jump to this part real quick. When she gets on the raft and you know goes out in the or I'm not, oh. when she smacked him in the face with the or I feel like he should have been knocked out. Oh, that man. And he and, and, been on, and on top, he would have been fucked like. He, I don't think he would have been coherent enough to swim, let alone do all the shit he was doing, like trying to stab her from the deck and getting her in her hand mm-hmm. and all this other shit. I'm like, you would be, like, your shit would be off. I don't care how strong and how tough you are. You've been tussling with this girl all night. She slowed down. You damn near would be, too. Would be, too. But, uh... Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's I, no way. That, the other thing, the stamina. How the hell they had that much stamina? They were running, going through houses. A lot of shit. Running through the woods. Running through the woods. I'm like... I mean, I, I get the adrenaline part if you're running for your life. If you're running... Or if you're just running scared in general. I won't say running for your life because I've never ran for But the life. other dude, he was like, he was like not old, but he was an older man. He in fucking shape. really tell him he had stamina of a fucking runner? Hey, man. A he's, marathon runner? He's in shape. <laughs> but I get what you're saying with that, too, though. It, it was like, damn. But yeah, they're once again knock on the door. She runs by a million other neighbors, goes mm-hmm. to the lake, leaves the lake, and goes to a house that she knows the guy. He won't answer, of course. He's bang, she's banging, bang, 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 bang. He finally answers the gun, points at her face, says, "Get the fuck off my, out of my house, or I'm gonna shoot you." And she's like, for like a minute or so, Mister Blah Blah Blah, remember me? Yeah, yeah. Your yeah. daughter's name is this. I'm like, I don't give a fuck about this. But then the guy comes up behind that dude and kills him. Yep. Now he has a shotgun. She fucked up because now he's shooting a shotgun at her. Mm-hmm. She's, you know, she's running dodging bullets now. She just had to worry about the knife uh, he, before that. He, but the, you know what was crazy, though? He only kept the gun for that part. And then after That's that. That's it. Yeah. I kept, well, I there's a shotgun. Going. He probably ran out of shells. It was probably like a six shot. There had to be more in the house. Though. That dude had way more. Probably well, he wasn't going to go looking for him. He just picked up the gun after he killed the dude. True, 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 true. I'm just saying, you know. But yeah, these people. Now here goes the thing with the mother. For one, if I'm left in the house and I just have to take out the mother, like they push her through the window. It wasn't like she pushed her out the window. She fell a story like the, that one girl did. Mm-hmm. Pushed her through a screen glass door, and she yeah. landed on the deck or wherever the hell that fucking thing is, and she's just laying there. For one, uh, uh, uh. I know damn well that didn't kill her. I'm gonna go out there and fucking rip her head off. And that you know what? That's one thing I'm like, why didn't they do this? Like, even though the girl was bashing the dude's face, all that, I'm like, why don't you grab the knife and just stab him in the throat? Yeah. Just to be just to be sure. Yeah. <clears throat> and as crazy and as gruesome as that sounds, I'm like, yo, this dude just tried to kill you. But at the same time, it takes away that part where you know he jumps on the one chick and she stabs him in the neck. So it takes that away, which was I thought was an awesome kill. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, I honestly, this was a this was a good movie. This was a really good movie. You get two final final girls in this. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I was about to say that. I was about to bring that up. So both friends survived. The only one that died out of the group was the the guy who showed up where he wasn't invited, unannounced. See, yeah. that's what you get for showing so up. He, yeah, that's what you get, man. You should mind your own fucking business and stay <clears> home. Let's start. You know, you know what it was though was like with this dude was like when you met him when he shows up there and all this stuff. He wasn't a bad guy. Like he was no, he was a, really a nice guy. guy he was but, a good guy. Yeah. 
And she was like, how do you know I'm up here? And he was like, because you posted it on Instagram. And that right there just made me laugh and think. I'm like, yo. But he did do a creepy move, though. You're going to drive that far, not knowing 100% she's going to let you in. <clears throat> While you're going to confront her that she made out with, hooked up with another dude? Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. So, made no sense. That's but, what's but, funny. He started saying that. He's like, <clears throat> well, you were there arguing for a second. But then he went to all nice and shit. And then she let him stay there. But what what it is too was like like you found out that they're basically friends with benefits, and he wants more, and yeah. she does she yeah she either doesn't or she's denying it because remember when her one friend says something about you know the girl that you're when she's like that guy whatever his name is really loves you yeah she but yeah. she was like but you don't let no one get close to you once they get close so you to should, you you're bailed. you should just let them or some shit or whatever yeah, yeah just let them yeah why don't you just but, let them uh, get yeah. You could tell he really cared, but I'm just like, damn. No, he really did. And it's fucked up how he died. Yo, he got stabbed like a thousand times. He was doing a good job fighting off too, but found out there's two of them. Mm -hmm. So, yo, he gets fucking stabbed. Oh. And like, he's going out the door. The girls see him. He's just like, uh, 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 uh. They're like, but you see his feet dragging. The dude had a fucking spear in his back. Yep. And pushes it Push, through. Yeah, pushing him out the door like he that was, was a, walking out himself. <clears throat> that was dope. That was dope right there. Yeah, there's some cool scenes in this. Like, there's some really cool, cool creative yeah. scenes. It's just like, oh shit, I never. Even okay, the one that <laughs> I wish they made it better, but then I don't because it made me laugh. I liked how the fucking mother died of the of uh, the group of killers. Oh, they just set around a set around fire. She's running down the street. Ah, ah it just drops to the ground. Like, oh, then all the cops park in front of her. I was like, why didn't she stop drop and roll? Yeah, I know, fucking dumbass. You learn that as kids. I mean, I guess it's different when you're on fire. You might just fucking panic and run. And but I feel like mother got fucked up too, and somehow she kept getting up. Yeah. It's a tough ass fucking family. I know, right? But you really they mean it when they say you better kill me. <laughs> they, I, I, I'm telling you right now, this this if that happened in real life. And those two survived, especially the one main character. What all she did and everything was true that what happened in this movie. People will see on the news and everything. I know one thing: if you're a dude dating her, don't fuck with her. Nope. Either one. She's of them. a she's a survivor. She she's smart on, on her feet too. What she was doing. Well, yeah, hell yeah. Like telling her friend to play dead in a panic like that. You know what that's would, from, would, James? You know what that's from? That's from all that crime, the crime TV shows, the ID channel shows that women love to watch. So yeah, there you go. Learn, play <clears> dead. <throat> yep. Yeah. Be careful. Then, then she's seen where the guy's getting closer <clears throat> to see if he's breathing, and uh, she threw a rock. See, she, mm -hmm. she's smart. She's witty. She was like quick on her feet. Yeah, you gotta be. But you gotta be. But other than that, people not really because some people are panicking and go fuck my friend and start running. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and you're right because you're trying to survive yourself. But she was honestly <clears throat> trying to help her friend at the same time. No, you got you got a point there. You got a point so, there. But then the friend made a fucking MacGyver shit. She fucking taped up a stick to her leg so she could <clears throat> drag herself well, around. It, she didn't go far. She did that. She didn't go far. Well, she went around the corner to make a phone call. Well, she did. <clears throat> she did that. You got to remember, she did that. She killed the one dude. She she ends up and she does end up standing up and pushing the mother out the hitting her in the back of the head with that wine bottle and then pushed her out the window yep. and a lot. So she it, and <clears throat> later you know what was cool was when she called um the her father on the computer. Oh yeah, when she because it's it's at the at that point in the movie is when the guy was like oh shit somebody's here using Wi Fi, and then he starts beating the box and I, and then right before this the internet thing turns off I think she just hit send to her dad or whatever yeah. <clears throat> the cops come because the one that she what's funny. Me. What's funny though, she could send a message to her dad, but the two attempts calling nine one one weren't working. It says yep. couldn't connect. Yep. <clears throat> I was just gonna say that. The, I was gonna say it was something that I was. I, no, I was gonna say it was. I was glad they showed it. It didn't. That it was showing it didn't go through, and it made sense. I mean, either it didn't show her dad calling the police, didn't show her father at all. No. So. But why didn't <laughs> connect to her father? Well, not the police the two times she did before that call. Maybe she had to connect. Maybe she wasn't connected to Wi Fi until that one little second. Mm. Because, I mean, the box should have been on and blinking before then, but that's when the guy noticed the box. Yeah. He's like, hey, somebody's using Wi-Fi, so maybe, I don't fucking know, something with that. <clears throat> we'll give it that. Wi-Fi fucks up at times. We all know that. 
But this movie, yo, this this was a good one. This was a good one. Yeah, this was a good um, this was a good pick. This is a good pick. If you haven't multiple seen multiple sub genres, multiple horror stuff. <clears throat> Yeah, like hell I yeah. said, like slasher, fucking psychological, um, virus said, disease movie. You said slasher, please. home invasion. Mm-hmm. So many, man. This fucking is like a mixture of shit. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It definitely is. And again, if you haven't seen this one, this is definitely worth watching. Oh, definitely. This I recommend definitely this worth one. Watching. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It's Especially all- if you're like sick of COVID, you're like, oh, they made a movie that has COVID <laughs> in it. Check it out. It's a good one. It's not going to be a shitty one. This is actually good. It's not just focused on COVID. And honestly, the the the, the COVID part, I mean, yes, it's the basis of the story, but it's not really thrown in your face too much like you would think. No, it's just they're like, telling you what happened to cause this action. Yeah, like in the beginning of the movie, they make, you know, the one girl joking around about it, of course, the he ha shit. And then... Once you get to the cabin, you don't really hear too much of it again. Too, too much. Yes, the girl, one girl's playing. Well, I mean, you see the few funny things, like the one chick spraying lice all the time. Or once the once the once the uh, the dude comes over that are hanging out. Remember when they start smoking and then they go to the basement and they're like chilling and dancing and all that stuff. And the one mm-hmm. chick is dancing with the COVID mask on with the lights on. Mm-hmm. Like, so they threw it in there in a sense, but not in like an annoying sense. It was more uh, funny. No, they, they did say it. They did say no, they, it. I yeah, they said it. it. They said it. <clears throat> they said that at a certain part. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, they, another part. The other, another part made me laugh. About, we're talking about the COVID thing. The killers are in the house. The father is showing his face talking. The mother looks at him and she goes, says his name, says, put your mask on. <laughs> yep. He's like, oh, yeah. Like, oh. She could be infected. And for one, that test one that came out, it had blood mixed in the fucking spit. I mean, the nose shit. Yeah, it wasn't a red at. It wasn't a fuck that whole thing up. I don't know if it would have or not. And if either way, movies got a movie. Mm-hmm. But. Yeah, she's like, she's like, you're positive, you're asymptomatic, asymptomatic, asymptomatic. He was like, oh. she I was, was like, huh? That's another thing they applied to because a lot of people were arguing about that. They didn't know that I don't have COVID, so they had to throw that little punch in there. You can still uh, kill yeah, people yeah, yeah. and not I have symptoms. <laughs> I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. So they applied. They applied some <clears throat> shit. They, yeah, they, they did. They made some points about the COVID in here. They they did it without without I guess without saying it throughout because they did say the word a few times during the movie, but they didn't like <clears throat> they didn't throw it in there a, a ton. I didn't notice it too much. I don't even remember. No, the actions like the to- no toilet paper during the story, all the shelves are empty. Yep, and um, the one dude that snatched it when the lady was trying to grab it with her daughter, he was like, she was like, really, dude? He gave it back. Yeah, I was like, wow. So, like, but they but it was a lot of COVID. Here. Here, here's the here's the fucked up slash funny part, right? So going back and watching like those bits and those scenes that they did show, and we're laughing at it, but then we're like, yo, people were really doing this shit, yeah. and you're just like, and, and you're thinking like as you're watching this movie. Like, say if you're somebody that was born after COVID, right? And you watch this movie, <clears throat> and you're just like, hang on. So were people really like that towards each other during this time? Like, were people really that selfish and greedy when we're supposed to be helping? And you're just like, uh, yeah. That's yeah. how it is anytime there's a freaking, anytime there's a crisis. <laughs> yeah. People panic. It's like, fend for yourself. Forget about and it. they always go for the toilet paper. It's called a shower, people. What the fuck are you <clears throat> toilet paper for? They go, the yeah, or the water. The shower. I mean, that'd be crazy. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be uh below freezing tomorrow. Oh shit, gotta get gotta get all the water and all the toilet paper. I'm like, you, you can have the fucking toilet paper. I'm gonna take all the chicken. I'm gonna make sure I have food and shit. Man. <laughs> Good word. Fuck the toilet paper. I'll, <clears throat> but yeah, I'll, go this, old, I'll go old school and use a sock. This this movie definitely showed that in ways, and it was just it was funny in the movie. Yeah. It was definitely funny in the movie, and again, if you haven't seen this film, <clears throat> it's definitely it's definitely worth a watch, and it's not gonna bother. You. Again, it's not gonna bother you with the COVID shit too much, and <clears throat> you know what? I'm glad they didn't do a story of the Black Lives Matter stuff in the movie because I think that would have been mm. too much. <clears throat> I think that would have been too much for this. 
Like if you're gonna do something I, like that with a horror that, movie, yeah. then I think, you end up being shoving way too much shit down your throat. I think if you were to do something like that with a horror movie, you have to make it just that and the horror movie. Like with this yeah. with the whole COVID thing and all this in quarantine, you need to make it with that and the I mean, yes, you can be a quarantine, but you don't want to make it a quarantine movie, if that makes any sense. Because it happened during the whole quarantine COVID. Yeah, shit. no virus. But yeah, you're not focusing, or you're not focusing on that. You're focusing yeah. on the whole, but making it a horror movie, of course. Yeah. But, um, shit, man. <clears throat> Good movie. Yeah, it is. It is. What are we doing Thursday? Thursday is. Oh. Thing, thing. Waiting for it to load. Taking a minute. Yeah, I'm Wait, it's on I seen. I don't remember. I know it's cursed. Oh, <laughs> cursed. Yeah. Okay. I seen that. That's right. Cursed. That that was suggested too, right? Or so we're talking about it. Ibrahim. So Ibrahim. That's right. Oh yeah, Ibrahim made a comeback for an episode. Yeah, it was he, nice he, to he, see him again. It was. It was. He'll be on him again, though. He said he would. Nice. So, yep, curse. So, we have Dawson yes. Creek look people at, in there. Look, look, I mean, look at this guy right here, man. Yeah, man. He's a professional. He's on it better than we are. I know. It's like he's running the show behind the scenes. Shit. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> he's our producer. <laughs> <laughs> Dadpool, what are you doing Thursday at 8 o'clock Eastern time? If you're free, yeah. man, and if you're able to watch the movie Cursed, I would love to have you on to review this movie with us. <clears throat> oh, shit. <laughs> Look at this. I'm just going to start asking him every week. Yo, Dadpool, what movie are you going to You're going to have to start writing him a check. Listen, James, you know I'm broke. <laughs> Send him an IOU. Yeah. Collect those. Be able to pay pay for them one day. <clears throat> oh shit! But oh. yeah, this is a this is a good uh, recommendation. Hell yeah! I like this one. Hell yeah! And now, not... would you recommend? You wouldn't recommend this to your sister though, because she's still looking for bad movies. Um. Uh, no, I will. You should. I mean, it's an open invitation, man. I can shoot you. I'll shoot you the link for Thursday. Uh, on Thursday, actually, I can shoot you the link. I'll shoot you in your email. If you want to be on with us, it'd be, it'd be dope to have you, man. It'd be dope to have you. Excuse me. Excuse me. So we're going to curse on Thursday. Thursday's also the wheel spin, which I can't wait for. Um, yep. Yes, yes. I guess we could wrap this one up, though, guy. Yeah. Uh, James. I forgot your name for a second. <laughs> yep. Oh, sweet. Yeah, so I'll send you... I'll, I'll shoot you the email um, between tomorrow and Thursday, because I do have the link set up now. And what I may do... Actually, I may even do it right after the, right after me and James are done recording, is schedule it. Shoot it to you, but schedule it to drop to you around, like, 6 o'clock Thursday. 6 o'clock Eastern Time Thursday or 7 o'clock Eastern Time Thursday or something. But um, yeah, everybody, make sure you go check out Dadpool's YouTube channel. Also, make sure you check out horribleserch thirty dot com. You can get all of my stuff from there. Seven. I gave a seven. I he gave it a seven, and I gave it a um seven and a half. I actually originally gave it a seven, but I bumped it up to a seven and a half because of some parts that James reminded yeah, me of and stuff that I remember. Yeah, no, it was a good, it was a good solid movie. Hell yeah, hell yeah! This was a dope movie. This is a dope movie, and again, highly recommended. People definitely check it out. It's worth it. It's about an hour and twenty three minutes. Yep, not too bad. It which, went I mean, pretty that's, quick. That's, that's an hour and twenty three minutes credit to credit. That's not even like you know the scene to scene type stuff, but definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Dadpool, what would you give it? Before we sounds uh, like he's a sounds like he's a big fan of it. I'm gonna say like a nine. I'm gonna say an eight. I'm gonna say an eight. <clears throat> but yeah, Dadpool, let us know what you gave him, man. What is your rating for sick? And it is. Oh, I forgot I'm in the office. Yes. Eight point seven five. Ooh. So like, yeah, damn near a nine right there. Damn near a nine, almost. Right 
Yeah, yeah that that's a good score. Yeah, it's it's definitely not a bad movie. It's definitely not a no. bad movie. Really? Again, check it out, people. It is definitely definitely worth. It makes it. me want to check out uh, if Peacock has uh, more original horror movies. Yeah, uh, they should. I feel like they should. I'm gonna check it out tomorrow. I'm gonna look because I never look for them in there. I didn't know Peacock had original horror movies like that. <clears throat> Me either. Not till, not till this movie. To be honest with you, I knew they had horror movies on there, but not their own original. Yeah, exactly. I guess so, every stream. All, I guess yeah, all stream is starting to do it. <clears throat> it's smart though to have your because it's it's one thing to have everybody having you know Friday the Thirteenth and some. It's it's another having like like listen, this is exclusive to right here, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Right now, Shutter, I think is pumping the best best ones shutter does its thing screen box isn't Hulu. bad though hulu's not bad no nah. no nah. no nah, definitely uh, not nah. i i wish netflix was better but they're not bad netflix can step its game up especially because you want to charge people for sharing passwords really i'm stuff. actually speaking of that netflix <laughs> sorry i might have to drop you mm. you're, you're the weakest link goodbye <laughs> peace that's what he's saying Yep, fuck it. I'll figure out. I watch those. I watch the shows on Netflix that I used to watch some some other way. I'll figure it out. So, but uh, again, cursed on cursed. Thursday, which I've never seen it, so I'm excited to see it. It's a so way you got do- you got Josh Arnett or something. I forgot his name. Uh, from Dawson's Creek is in this. Then you got Shannon Elizabeth. Yep, and Christina Ricci. Uh, Christina Ricci's in this. So it's a it's a decent cast. Wes Craven movie. This will be fun. Yeah. This will be fun. We just reviewed this movie, Sick, right here, which, again, shout out to Dadpool. Thank you for the re- request. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to get out of here, guys. Ladies, gents, people, everybody, even elephants. Have, have a good night, Dadpool. Have a good night, everybody. Of course, man. Of course, man. I love doing this shit. I love doing this shit. Scott Bayo is in it, too. There you go. Well... Again, I can't wait to have you on as a guest Thursday, Dad. Pull, it's gonna be an amazing time. Have a great night, everybody. I'll see you in your nightmares. Peace. Peace. I don't know the Muffin Man, by the way, but James does. <laughs>